G'day, 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 guys! Another beautiful day on my side of the world. Pete's really happy today. The courier's just turned up with my new plasma cutter from Amazon. Another one. Not again, you're saying you bought another bloody plasma cutter? Hey, don't tell the missus, guys, that I'm spending all this money on plasma cutters. I think she thinks I get them for nothing. <laughs> anyway, this is a 250 buck plasma cutter, or I think it might be, let's have a look, 239.99 this one costs. What I'll do, guys, is I'll just quickly show you the receipt that I got from Amazon, and I'll just show you the difference that it cost me from what you guys pay for them to what it cost me to bring it to New Zealand here. So if we have a look here, guys, the cost of the plasma cutter is $239.99 USD. We've got shipping and handling at USD $92.25. We've got estimated GST, which is our goods and services tax, which is tax we pay when it comes into the country, at USD $49.84. So we've got the grand total in the USD dollars of 382.08 and we convert that to my money which is New Zealand dollars which is 687.84. So it makes a cheap plasma cutter quite expensive by the time I get it here to do my review. Anyway guys, like I said, keep it to yourself because I think my missus thinks I get them for nothing. <laughs> now I ordered this on Sunday night and it arrived on my doorstep on Friday morning. So this has travelled halfway around the world in five days and the box was not even smashed up. So yeah, give credit where it's due, eh? <laughs> I love opening these boxes. A, to see if there's anything that's broken and B, to see what you actually get for your money. Like I showed you on the receipt, guys, 240 USD, I think, this machine cost. And why I brought this one is because not only does it have a gauge on the front of it but it also has the air pressure adjustment on the front of it as well so it saves you buggerizing around at the back of the machine right here, guys what do we get looks some pretty good nick for traveling halfway around the world if you ask me let's pull it out and see what we've got chuck that away pete yeah oh, i love it i love it i love it i love it what's not to love about it eh <laughs> what do we got Looks like it's still in one piece, guys. Looking good so far. This has got a little bit more adjustment on it than my other plasma cutters. And it's just, I think it's about 10 bucks more expensive. Right, so what else comes in the box, guys? Let's have a look. We've got another box inside a box. So we can get rid of this packaging. <laughs> more rubbish for the trash, man. All right, let's have a look at the basic machine first, guys. We'll take the uh, plastic off it. I'm quite impressed that it comes all this way and this is I think this is about the fourth or fifth one that I've brought in the last month or so and none of them have any damage on them which I think is quite amazing actually. So that looks in pretty good nick to me guys. What do you reckon? <laughs> we'll just zoom in here and let you have a look at it guys. Now why I chose this one was because it has a couple of different adjustments here like you've got your amps like normal and you've got your post time but it's got an LED display for your post time here it's got the gauge on the front of the machine which I find is quite useful but not only that it's got the gauge adjustment on the front of the machine as well so you don't have to have that big bulky thing sticking out of the back of your machine if you notice some of my other videos when I've been putting the new plasma cutters together there's a big hunk of thing that sticks out here and if you're sticking it on a shelf or something you have to have it sitting a long way forward if you know what I mean and also guys, I don't know if you noticed with this, this has already got a built-in air filter here. Got your water separator here, and it's built-in, and it's got an actual cage around it so you can't knock it off. Which I think is awesome actually, rather than having the big bulky thing sticking out here, like I told you before. And also this one guys, comes with the 220 volt plug, which is really, really huge. So normally I have to cut that off and put my plug on it. So if we actually have a look and see what accessories come with it, and of course you open that upside down, didn't you, Pete? I love getting new plasma cutters, guys. I've got a thing about plasma cutters. You might have noticed already, eh? So what do we get? We get an airline, which is pretty basic stuff. We get some thread seal tape and some new consumables and a couple of hose clips there. I remember the last plasma cutter I brought and did a review on a couple of weeks ago didn't get the thread seal tape with it. That's no big deal, but it's just how different manufacturers do things. We've got a earth clamp here, which is standard crap. 
I don't know why they keep doing that. Oh, this is good, guys. We've got the converter thing here, so if you haven't got a 220 outlet, you can do 110. So that's awesome. And we have an AG60 Pilot Arc torch. Which is a new model AG60 because it's got a more ergonomic handle. <laughs> ergonomic, that's a big word for you, Pete. Erg bloody nomic. Well, there you go. And it's got a different sort of button as well. But um, so far it looks all right. And it looks like about a four meter lead as well, guys. So far, so good. So what I'll do, guys, after I do my unboxing video like this, I'm going to do an assembly video, which I don't think is going to take very long because we've got bugger all to assemble, not like the other plasma cutters. And then we'll do some tests on it and we'll put it through its paces. Well, what I'm basically trying to do, guys, is get 10, maybe 15 of these machines all lined up in a row, and then I can tell you exactly which ones are the best to buy for your money. And the only way you're going to know that is if I buy them myself and I actually test them. Because I've got four or five of them already, and already I've got one favourite, and it's not the most expensive one you might think either. So we'll see how we go. So anyway, like I say, nice torch. And we've actually got a proper operator's manual. Best arc. So what's actually in it? It's good. It's a glossy one as well, guys. Not like the normal paper Chinese thing. Got all sorts of things in there. Layout, safety tips. Looking good so far, guys. So far, so good. So, guys, I'm quite impressed with this so far. It looks good. Nice and tidy. Hasn't been knocked around. Hopefully, I'll plug it in on the next video and she'll fire up. And we'll be able to do some cutting with it. Once again, it's a Pilot Arc machine. Uh, I don't think I'd buy anything apart from a Pilot Arc these days. This one's even got like little covers for your torch. If I can get it off. Little rubber grommet here. If I can get it off. Little rubber grommet here for your torch lead and keep the crap out of it. Just little optional extras. I found that some of them, when I've unboxed them, you only get the basics of the basics. You don't get any fancy little bits and pieces like that. Not that it's going to make any difference to how the machine goes, but it just makes a difference on how it looks, you know what I mean, and how it feels. And also, um, another thing for weight, this is quite heavy. I've had a couple of them which are quite light, but this is on the heavier end, and I also think that the heavier machine, I don't know, it might just be me thinking funny, like the old-fashioned way, but I think the heavier the machine, the better it's going to work, but, you know, that, that might just be bullshit, I don't know. So guys, that was just my little unboxing video. As soon as the courier drops this stuff off, I just can't wait to get it in the shed and pull the box to bits. I don't know, I'm funny like that, eh? So I might as well just flick the camera on and show you guys how it arrives. So next time, guys, we'll do a little assembly video and then we'll do some testing on this thing and I'll compare it to some of my other machines. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. If you want to see some videos on some other machines I've brought in the last couple of months, Check up there, I'll put one this side, and then I'll put one the other side for you. You can check them out as well. And uh, good luck with your plasma cutting, guys. Yeah!